Hello, my friends. Welcome to yet another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So, in my last video, I played one of the DLC for you guys and also explained a little bit about my thoughts on whether or not you, sh you may wish to purchase DLC using money or just purchase using fate, uh, which is one of the in game currency that you earn as you play this game. Now, since I've uh, bought the um, complete edition so i've got quite a lot of dlc already purchased now this is seeds of corruption um i have no idea what this would uh, give me as a reward so usually the reward of the dlc could range from something like cosmetic which is fantastic uh, or something more tangible such as the attribute points passive uh, skills as well as uh, terra card and so on so there are some kind of tangible reward versus the uh, the cosmetic one so it's cool uh, each one of them has different now this one i don't think is available for purchase using real money so it's something that um, you you could um, you could just purchase so i have about nine thousand odd fates uh, lying in my account i could use it to purchase loot boxes of course or i could just get a dlc so i'm going to in this video i'm going to try the seeds of corruption dlc and uh and yeah let's go and go for it so this is a corruption i hope uh i hope i make the right decision not sure what i'm gonna get it could be one of the priority uh, assignment or could be one of the special mission and i am yet to find out all right cool now uh it could be here Yep, this is the one, Sea of Corruption. I mean, sometimes it could be a special mission as well. So you can go into a special mission here and to see, um, you know, one of the items that, one of the stuff that appear here, these are special special mission that will allow you, I mean, that can be opened up using the uh, DLC, but let's go for Seeds of Corruption. So now, again, you know, this is really on story, nothing really about gameplay because the gameplay is going to be quite uh, straightforward. My character is uh, rather okay, geared at level 100. So let's see, Inquisitor, which is myself, we have received an official request from one of the cardinal worlds in the Caligari sector on behalf of the blah blah set, the creator of Lost Relics. They are trying to locate a possible lost artifact. According to their data, St. Gerardo's hand had been aborted and has been aboard, aborted? No, I thought it's aborted, no? An Imperial Escort destroyer when it was drafted into service during the recent anti Imperial insurgents in the Lacorn system, right before the Great Purge. The record do not list the ship among the survivor nor among the vessels destroyed, which means that it must be one of the floating wrecks in the highly dangerous heretic infested Sinon battle zone. The relic is of the utmost importance, and should it fall into the wrong hands, it could be used to incite unrest or even mass rebellion. The Inquisition has a duty to help out the uh, Ecclesiarchy in a heretic war zone. Your task is to reclaim the relics. So, okay, I need to reclaim St. Gerardo's hand for the Imperium of Man. Cool. Uh, Yep, let's continue. Hmm, I like the graphic here. Okay, cool. Now, there are a couple of things I can choices I can make. The Sinon Battle Zone is a colossal wreck field beyond the planets of the system, inhabited by heretics and void Norman, selling salvaged material to scrap. Um, merchants. It will be difficult to find this particular ship. The following options are available. So we can hire several Hulk uh, scavengers gangs to comb the field and protect them from the penalty for looting Imperial wrecks. Acquire the service of an unsung, uh, un, unsanctioned black market diviner. Uh, trade auto issue weaponry with prime locks in exchange for Sinotet Seeker Drone. I mean, I'm a Puritan, so this is no, no. This, I think, is rather stupid. So I think I'll go for the first option, right? See that? 
Okay, the search for the relics consumes a significant amount of time and resources, mostly due to false alarms and wrong identification, but eventually it was successful. The wreck of the destroyer seems to be relatively intact on a stable orbital traje uh, trajectory. However, it's not empty, but it's home to two heretical tribes of void nomads who are currently engaged in warfare. The more powerful tribe occupy the upper deck, including the bridge, while the other tribe, who has superior number but lack quality weaponry, has found shelter around the ruin, uh, gen Generatorium. So now I have two options. In the light of the current situation of the void ship, the following options are available. Fight our way through the deck, controlled by the more powerful norm Met tribe and raid the master cogitator, cogitator on the command bridge or remotely unlock the armories uh, of the destroyer and grant the larger tribe access to the weapon in storage too before raiding the master cogitators. Why do I want to unlock the armory of the destroyer and grant the larger tribe access to the weapon? In storage, that is quite a strange option. I'll take the first one. We'll fight our way through. All right, cool. Uh, the Kaman Bridge is a fortified area, and the Norman tribe in control is relatively well organized heretic group. Prepare for substantial resistance and heed the recommendations of the tactical analysis who suggest taking the most direct route and avoid unnecessary detour. But I am the Inquisitor. There's no unnecessary detour. The heretics must be purged. The empire protects. Yeah? <laughs> oh, we'll see. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. So what do I need to do here? Oh man, I, I really don't like conjugator. I mean, they're not the best thing. Really? Ooh, there's a chest here. Right, so I need to go and... Uh... Right, there's a commander. Okay, that's easy. Right, there's a guy behind it, by the way. Take out the guy behind it. Let's switch to range view. Hostile unit inbound. I thought I've switched to like range bill. Yep, just continue. Yeah, they can't really hurt me, can they? Fantastic. Ooh, there's a there's a commander there as well. I need to I need to use commander to unlock this guy here. So I need to kill twenty commander to unlock the third um, affix, and I uh, need to kill some horde as well. By the way. Yeah, yeah commander. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Oh, another commander. Oh, I love this map. It helped me to get my uh, count up. Alright, that's done. Fantastic. Right. 
I think it's going to be done soon. Yeah, another commander. Oh, I love it. Fantastic. You know what? Maybe I should take a detour and see if there is a commander somewhere. I really don't mind. And unfortunately, there isn't. Oh well, at least I try. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Point of entry established. Harvesting data from compromised network. Alright, there's the last one. Yep. Yeah, I think that's it. Transfer complete. Initiating noospheric data entombment. Mission is a success. Mission is a success. Right, that's done. Fantastic. All right, let's see. What's next? Raid successful. Preliminary analysis of the master cogitator promises valuable information on the whereabouts of the lost relics. Moreover, data ser servants have uncovered previously known details about the Battle of Sinon itself. Next step. Ship's lots lock indicates that the destroyer was boarded by cultists. In the heat of the battle, a partially recovered voice recording captured the cultist leader ordering his minion to take back St. Gerardo's hand to a certain high profit. Conclusion Deep data filtering places the cultist in question at a high out on Nikon 9. Aerial reports indicate with high probability that it occupied a now defunct Arctic mining site. Wow, it's neat. My collateral damage is like zero. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's next. It's interesting. It's always a story there. I like the story. All right. Um. So we have found the right place. The former excavation site is teeming with the um, cultists. Our pick drones recorded several instances of the heretics actually mentioning their high profit. Profit. Next step is to clear the entire area before entering the subterranean mining complex. So it's a perch. Level 100. Ah, this is a big map. It's a perch. Alright. Banish the Fort Tongue Demon Spawn. Yeah, um, my apology, my frame rate is usually quite bad when it comes to like this kind of a snowing effect. And uh, it's kind of annoying. I have a gaming laptop as well, but sometimes I play with my desktop. Um, and with the, you know, like I said many, many times, with the kind of like the graphic card shortage, worldwide shortage, it's so hard to upgrade the uh, desktop, so I'm not even bothered. So yeah, when they play, when it comes to this kind of like play style, usually I just look at the red dots on the screen. Uh, a bit like a football manager. If you play football manager, you you don't really get to play with the soccer, or the football is just like look at the dots that that's been like you know going back and forth, back and forth. So yeah, if very much like what I'm doing right now, just looking at the red dot and just follow the map. You know that's all I do. Uh, nothing innovative there. And the fact that it's a uh, Pretty straightforward as well. I mean, you know, it's not really that hard. I I, I mean, I, I don't say I out level them, but you know, it's quite straightforward. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of clearing the, the area with the red dot. Yeah, <laughs> follow the dot. Cool. And now they have like, um, they will open up everything for you. Alright, that's towards the end. I just need to clear off this space here. Oh, yep, that's it. Okay, done. Let me just get my chest. Let's quit. Fantastic. Okay, I think it's close to the end. One more, I think, to retrieve the relics. The, heret the heretic outpost has been thoroughly purged and pacified in the name of the empire. Next step, capture heretic confirmed the existence of both a powerful heretic leader and a large number of stolen imperial relics in their in inner sanctum. We must assault this cultist as soon as possible. Alright, let's do that. I can do that. We have mapped the former installation via Echo Locator analysis. The stolen relics are being stored in the processing bay. The cultist's presence is huge and they are guarding the fortified checkpoints scattered through the tunnel. Sensors also detect signs of possible morale threats, arrangements for potential war warp craft suggested. Let's go and purge the demons, shall we? Cool. I think this possibly be the last mission. If I get the uh, DLC right, it's about twenty minutes of gameplay usually per DLC. Not a lot. The base game and the DL uh, and the prophecies DLC is still the most worth it kind of uh, gameplays. Again, perch all. And the blood of salvation. Alright. Yep, for the Empire. Just done. Yeah, I have a nice shield around me as I as I take down enemies. Yay, that's it. There's chest. Fantastic. Wow, this map is rather linear actually. Alright, done. This is the seasonal boss by the way. Yep, there's execution by the way. They take the head off. <laughs> Amazing! Yo, for the Empire. Yeah. I think this is going to be it. 
There's some chests here. Oh, there's one. Yep, that's done. I think there's one more here. Funny. Alright, fantastic. Could be the end. Let's see. Around 20 minutes. Final words, yep, that's the end. The relics you receive are being processed. We've seen Gerardo's hand among the unlawfully obtained tre treasure. Mission successful. Cultists hide out terminally pacified from orbit. Relationship with the Ecclesia key in the Caligari setter have improved significantly. Right, cool. So that's done. And I've got the uh, alpha pack. That's it. Common loot box. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's really worth it because it's just a loot box and I can easily get a loot box um, from from the uh, from the vendor. You can do a alpha kind of like a loot box here. Alpha pack, I think. Alpha pack, yep. You can actually do an alpha pack for 350. Kind of like fake is that so so yeah i mean i personally speaking well i had fun but if to spend like thousand odd kind of fate for loot bots they can get for like like the uh 350 i don't know whether it's worth it or not but let's see what kind of gear i have got i got a plasma cannon which is dealing heat energy which i don't do and um and that's about it actually yeah so i mean it's not a profitable run for me but i just kind of like in for the story i guess and uh so yeah you can make your judgment let me know in the comments box below whether you are pretty keen on this um this particular dlc or it's just uh, give it a pass all right all right see you next time thank you for watching take care of yourself mate uh see you next time bye